There was a bridge in Super Mario World that was called Butter Bridge. Now we have a building here that's called Butter Building. Is it just me, or do Nintendo games have a fetish for butter? I would hate to think that's the case, but oh well. At least if they think that food's good, then food is good. Hello everybody, this is Double RPG here, and welcome back to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play Live Commentary, where we're going to get back on track with Kirby, Nightmare, and Dreamland on the Game Boy Advance. In today's episode, we are going to go through the Butter Building, and then we are going to go to the next world that is called Grape Garden. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this episode that is already in progress. And as you can tell, we are going to start with level 1, and we are going to go through all the levels at Butter Building, and we are going to fight against the boss over there. I mean, over here as well. Okay, so we're going to get things started, and as you can tell, this basic platforming right here, and uh, we just lost our sword power up. Thanks, guys! Ouch. Okay, we got a, cu we got a couple Waddle Dees as well as that Stone Crusher or Rock Crusher guy or whatever. Yeah, I know the enemies in uh, the Kirby universe all have names, but oh well. And here we have the, the clock guy again. Oh, yeah, we're fighting against the clock guy again, and uh, as you can tell, things are a little bit tougher now that we don't even have the sword, and since we have the uh, rock power with us, or the stone power, we're just gonna have to, uh, we're just gonna have to work away with that. But don't worry, it's pretty easy when you're using the uh, stone power up against this guy. So uh, just make sure you use it on him. And make sure that you don't even take any damage whatsoever from the musical notes or from his body or whatever. His body is not ready. You know, just to quote uh, Reggie fils with that <laughs> with that weird meme or whatever. But yes, his body is not ready. I don't know what you're thinking. Anyway, we come this way. And we're going to uh, climb up here. By climbing up here, we're going to hit the switch. And by hitting these switches, they will give us access to secret areas within a level. Or within, you know, the hub world of a level. But you know what I'm talking about. Alright, we have completed level 1, and let's get up to number 1 spot. Oh, we're just short again. Dang it. Oh well, we did the Kirby Shuffle to be a little bit happy. And as you can tell, um, by uh, hitting that switch in level 1, that opened up the... Uh, the arena. And like I said, we fight against a mini-boss, and by fighting against a mini-boss in the arena, we are rewarded with max tomatoes. And we can even get their power up, too, if we want to. And we'll go ahead and we'll take the wheel for ourselves, so why not? Be a good place to use it, seems like- Oh, I lost it! Again! Dang it. Oh, I'll get it back. And there is a, uh, the bomber with a max tomato, but instead... He, uh, or we, uh, kicked it out of the way from him, so, unfortunately, we cannot get it, but, oh well. Nothing really worth crying about. Let's just, uh, continue to move on forward. And there's a waddle do right there that gives us the beam power-up. It makes us look like gestures, or jesters, with, uh, you know, with a magic wand or a magic beam wand or whatever. And there's another waddle do, And those are, uh, night cutters or whatever. Or cutter knights. I'm not sure what the official name for it is, so I don't really care. And, uh, just take your time watching out for these enemies right here. Although, it is pretty common to get hit by them, as you would have guessed, or as you would have seen. Oh, cool! I'll take your sword power up again. Alright, very nice. My favorite power-up in the entire game is Sword Kirby. I'm pretty sure that goes for everybody, too. And, uh, wait for you to go down here. If he does. There. Let's just, uh, spam him with the sword. And he is down for the count. Very good. Now we got some more points. There's some more points for you guys. Alright. And, uh, we should be getting close to the end of this level. This is actually a pretty long one, now that I think about it. I didn't even think it was gonna be that long, but, oh well. And, just watch out for the, uh, spiked balls right there, or whatever those enemies are called. I don't really care. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not really familiar with the enemies in Kirby games. 
as I'm really as I'm more familiar with the enemies in Mario games and all that. So uh, I I do apologize if I get my terminology with Kirby mixed up or if I don't even mention anything. You know, if I if I don't manage to mention or if I don't manage to mention the names of an enemy in a Kirby game correctly, then I do apologize. But uh, like I said, my knowledge with Kirby is limited, and I don't know why I haven't played more Kirby games when I was younger. But uh, how can you blame anybody? Oh, God, oh, dang it! I better not die. I better not die. If you if you make me die, then you're in big trouble, Mister. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha. Huzzah! Now we need a max tomato before we die. Although, I doubt that's going to be the case! Ugh. Oh well. Well, we'll take your cutter power up. And as you can tell, we have a, uh, a, you know, a cutter knight's helmet. And we can actually use the, uh, fin off the, uh, helmet as, you know, the cutter that we throw at enemies. So we can think of it, think of it as a ranged weapon that will help us out. Okay, level two has been completed finally. We made it back to spot number two again. What's up with that? Okay, so butter building has uh, level two has been finished, or area two has been finished. So let's go to the next one. And you gotta actually like the music in this game. It's very uh, upbeat and uh, you know gets you very excited. That's what, that's one of the things that uh, Kirby games have managed to, uh, you know, do really well, is keep the music very upbeat and very, very lively, so that way, you know, you can get through them without any problems. What was that about? I think you were supposed, you were supposed to circle around the building, and then you make it up to the, uh, then you make it up to that uh, opening or whatever. I think that's how it was supposed to go. You were supposed to circle around that tower and you fight enemies along the way, but uh, I remember seeing that in the original Kirby's Adventure, but I'm not sure if they just changed that to something that's a bit more uh, easier. Oh well, like it matters. Oh, dang it! Get that back for me. Or get that back to me. Okay, now where's the one that will lead us up further from where we are? Is it this one? Looks like it. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I think it's that one. Come on, get back up there! Okay, very good. Yep, there's the exit. It A... Let's get up there at the top! Ugh, dang it! We're back to number two again! Alright. Area 3 completed. And we can go to a museum here to change for a new power-up, but we don't need to do that right now. We are going to ride the Warp Star, and where are we going to go? Well, the Warp Star will take us. We won't know until the Warp Star knows where it will take us, but uh, looks like we went up higher in that tower, it seems like, and oh my gosh, we got Meta Knight again. So yes, we have to fight against his, uh, you know, his uh, army of goons called the Meta Knights. Not, it, you know, it seems kind of weird how they're called the Meta Knights, but he is actually known as Meta Knight. Should there be a different name for these enemies? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because we're going to take them down and we can get out of here. Okay, so uh, there's a Waddle Dew right there with an umbrella. Oh, come on! I thought I got that guy for good. Oh well. Okay, now uh, we're gonna have to be careful here because we can jump very high! Oh, cool. I I'll need that max tomato, by the way. And there's the exit. As you can tell, this level is going, or, you know, butter building is actually going by pretty fast. We made it to number four. Are you serious? We got 800 points? Lame. Okay, here we have the quick, quick draw game, the one that I was referring to from before. And uh, as you can tell, when the exclamation mark comes up, that is when we want to... Uh, attack our enemies here with the uh, quick draw ability. And uh, you have to time your uh, things perfectly. Chef Kowalski. King Dedede. And he's dressed up like a. He's dressed up like, 
you know, a regular uh, samurai or whatever. But Meta Knight doesn't dress up like a ninja or a samurai or whatever. He's still dressed up as Meta Knight. But he got us that time. Oh well, we defeated four enemies. And we got a bonus uh, 1-up. I guess we'll take it. Okay, level 5. And let's go ahead and uh, grab this, you know, grab the sword power up really quick. And uh, we are invincible, Kirby, because we ate some invincibility candy. Or invincibility lollipop. Yeah, make sure you take down those uh, nuclear warheads or those uh, bombs or whatever before they fall down. Because if you're close by the bomb that falls down after it explodes, you could potentially lose your power up. Ooh, this guy. Watch out for his uh, hammers. And I'm sure there goes that famous movie quote, It's hammer time! No, it's not hammer time, but it's uh, sword time for you. I will say that... Uh, in this game, when compared to Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, is that the bosses in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror are actually a lot more tougher than the bosses in this game. Because they actually take a little bit more time to defeat, and they actually have more energy based on the hits that you give to them. So yeah, it's very strange. Okay, we're at level, or area 6 of level 3. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need that laser power-up, so we'll take it with us. Oh, yes, indeed. And that will give us, uh... That will give us leeway to some of these, uh, items that we can obtain by going this way. And yes, and it takes down some of the bombs that actually get in the way, too, so... Take care of them if you must. And I'm not sure if we're going to need that anymore, but, uh... Let's, uh... If we can go down, thank you. Okay, very nice. We got our sword power up back, and we got a max tomato in the process. And let's just zip on past here, and attack those, and go through here. And let's just keep going. Do we have to go up? Nope, we just need to go to the right this time. Uh, nope. I guess it was just to uh, defeat all the enemies and get whatever items that were in that room for that door to appear. Okay. Now, there's actually another door that's right over here. Let's go ahead and uh, get over here before that uh, those blocks blocked our way, and we managed to do that. It actually gives us access to another racing minigame. The same, uh, you know, s star racing, you know, minigame that we saw from before. Okay, so, uh... We're deeper in butter building. Area 6, or just butter building in general. And uh, as you can tell, everything's kind of dark. But you can see some of the uh, some of the platforms that are inside this place. And if you see uh, any openings within the uh, you know the design or the architecture of this building, make sure you, excuse me, make sure you can go through those without any problems. But it shouldn't be that much of a problem if you can manage to see everything that's within this place, and then you should be fine. You know what, we're just gonna casually float up this way while avoiding these guys. Grab this, we got some more health. And oh my gosh, we got some more heroes. Come on, get over here! My sword power up! Why? Oh well, we'll use the cutter. Oh, dang it, I missed the one up, but oh well, it's okay. Alright. Area 6 has been completed, and we're back to number 3. Really? Okay. Area 6 is completed, and we can finally go up to the boss. So, but before that, let's do the air grind minigame once again. And pretty much the uh, rules are the same when doing this race, is you want to hit the A button or the B button to grind on the rails to go faster than your opponents. But watch out for the ones that are not in colors, the ones that are black and kind of spiky, because they will trip you up if you land on those, or if you try to grind on those, and you can't even move any faster. So just be careful when you're uh, grinding on the uh, rainbow or whatever, or the rails, or, you know. So that way you can uh, avoid those uh, spikes or whatever. Okay, we got first, and we got th three extra lives. Very nice. And we got, uh, we got the moon and the sun as the boss here. 
And from what I know, they are known as Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. So I take it that Mr. Shine is the sun and Mr. Bright is the moon. Because, you know... No, or Mr. Bright is the sun and Mr. Shine is the, uh... Or... Sunshine, Bright Moon. Or is it Moonshine? No, it wouldn't be Moonshine or else... <laughs> they would be referring to it as a drink instead. So I assume that they call it Bright Moon and they called the sun Mr. Shine. Okay, so uh, level four is Grape Garden. And we are going to go through Grape Garden in its entirety as well, just like level three. So be relaxed and we shall experience Grape Garden in its entirety. Now there is one thing that I do want to point out while we are going through this game is that I will not be finding all of these hidden switches for some of those extra places that you can go through. Now I'm just only showing you those uh, couple right there so you can uh, actually get a good idea as to what all you can do within this game aside from, you know, just going through the main levels. But I will not be going through all of the hidden switch places or the places that have the hidden switches. Because I find the process to be kind of tedious, and I'm mainly just doing this for fun. I'm not really trying to 100% this game like uh, some people do, but, uh, you know. And, you know, to be fair, it really doesn't seem like it's one of those games where you could try to, uh, you know, that makes you feel like you need to master it completely. Because Kirby games, they're supposed to be fun, and they're supposed to, uh, you know, be relaxing. They're not really supposed to be competitive in any sense. So, uh... Yeah, that's why I'm not going to be going at, the, you know, going through this game at 100%, but I will complete it whole, that's for sure, in terms of, like, going up to the final boss, that is. Okay, so, uh, that enemy just pretty much, uh, attacked us, and he did not leave us alone, and as you can tell, that was a tornado type of enemy, and, uh, they are impenetrable when they are in the tornado function. Okay, there's the exit, and make a big old jump, and we're back to number two again. As I said, it's kind of hard to get up to number one when you're doing that little... when you're doing that little gig. And when you fall down for quite a long time, if you see Kirby, you know, dive face first, then you can actually land on the enemies and do damage to them. You won't even get hurt whatsoever, so... At least you're safe from harm's way in some way or the other, right? Okay, so we need to go through here, I think. Uh, yes we do. And, uh, the bomb dudes are not making things really easy for me. Well, they did now. And they are the shorter versions. And, as you can tell, if they land in water, then they will automatically die. But the only one who can survive underwater are the ones who swim and Kirby. Okay, we need to go through here, and there's a Max Tomato. And, uh, let's go ahead and take care of that one. Grab that Max Tomato, and then make our way back. You know, it's at points like those, it makes you think that an enemy is gonna come out of nowhere just to attack you. When you grab the Max Tomato. I mean, it's kind of the same with, uh, with, uh, some of the rooms in Cave Story. You know, when you grab an item, and then you try to make your way back, then all of a sudden you have to fight against a boss. I know, it's, uh very wacky, but, you know, it actually adds, you know, it adds, actually builds the experience up quite a bit, when you think about it. Okay, one of the bomb dudes has been destroyed, and we shall take care of the other one. Watch out. <laughs> Alright, the bomb dudes are destroyed. And we can exit this level, finally! Or this area, or whatever. Hey, we made it back to number one! Woohoo! Doing the Kirby Shuffle! Doing the Kirby Shuffle! <laughs> I know, I'm trying to figure out a uh, perfect... Uh, trying to pick, uh, figure out the perfect wording for that level. Or for when Kirby does his uh, little victory dance. I know that Brennel Floss actually came up with the theme for Green Greens. But, uh, you know, that's his gig. It's not mine. Okay, as you can tell, we are doing Quick Draw again. So, uh, let's see if we can try to get through it all without even dying once. But I wonder how easy that's going to be. It's like the quick draw thing, you have to be really paying attention when you can hit the exclamation mark to attack your enemies. Take care of uh, King DDD. Now let's see if we can be quick enough to take down Meta Knight. 
Get it? Oh, yes, we got him, finally! So, yeah, we defeated all the enemies. And we got three extra lives in the process. Very nice. Okay. And as you can tell, we will need this, uh... This fire guy. And by, uh, bringing the fire... You know, bringing its fire power up, we can actually light that, uh, rope. Or, you know, whatever it is. Flint that rope, and it will go to the cannon there. And we can go up in the sky and get an extra life. This way. So, yeah, there are some of those within you know, some of the levels. Sometimes they will lead you to secret areas for goodies like that, or sometimes they can lead you to, you know, secret places where you can find hidden switches to open up more areas within a level. And that kind of stuff. Okay, there's a max tomato right there, but, uh... Is there a different opening somewhere else, maybe? Ooh, cannons. Um, you know what? I really don't care, but are these Meta Knight ships? Uh, because he would pretty much have the Halberd on him at all times. But I don't think the Halberd managed to get introduced until Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo. If you haven't even picked up that game yet, then why aren't you... Uh, why are you listening to me talk about it? It's on the Virtual Console, goes for uh, 600... Uh, goes for 600 Wii points, so... Uh, yeah, it's awesome stuff. And we are going to leave the jet planes, and we are coming back here to the clouds. You know, for a place that's called Grape Garden, I really don't see a whole lot of grape in this level. It's like false advertising, in a sense. But anyway, enough to talking about why, grape, uh, why grapes aren't here at Grape Garden, as we are here for just for, you know, just for the fun of how fun a Kirby game really is. Okay, there's another opening there, but we still need to find a switch. I think we might be able to find the switch in level 4. Oh, this guy again! We'll just let him uh, kill us, and then we can uh, just leave this place and then go on to uh, area 4 of level 4. Might as well. And there is a uh, knight right there, so we'll take his power up nicely, and we'll continue forward. And as you can tell, you know, the the design of the levels did just get more and more crazy. I mean, just take a look at the background. It's like nighttime. Well, even though it is nighttime, but still. It's like we just went from, you know, the sky to the beach to a forest in the daytime. And now we're at a very new setting. That's uh, very amazing how, uh, how the backgrounds can just rapidly change for a Kirby game. Now, I'm going to actually be doing something here very quickly. And what I'm actually going to do, if I can uh, get his power up, is I'm actually going to be using the wheel, cur uh, wheel Kirby, and I'm actually going to be going through this place to see if I can try to get through it as fast as possible. Now, if I, uh, if I, if I don't make it in time, then I will die and restart the process all over, so that way we can, you know, get there, get over there quick enough so we can hit the switch. But I just wanted to show you another one of those things where we have to haul buns to get over to that one switch so that way we can make it in time. But don't worry, we will get it eventually. Even if we have to kill ourselves and try numerous times, we'll make it. But yeah, it's one of those things where you need to be careful from hitting the, uh, hitting the walls or hitting the boundaries within this place or else you're going to stop. And with uh, places that have holes, like the one that we saw at the, you know, inside that little pond area, you can uh, go inside of them, and they might have, like, max tomatoes and that kind of stuff. So if you, uh, if you see stuff like that, then be sure you, uh, be sure you uh, grab them so that way, uh, or you go inside of them so that way you can figure out what's inside. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, try it again. Let's see if we can actually do it. Uh, let's see if we can actually do it right this time. I hope we can. Yes, we can, and we are going faster than the uh, dynamite can say boom. Yeah, yeah, and get in there. There. Look. Look at that. Look at all that skill. Actually, that was just for us to get the, uh, you know, the, you know, the extra life. But we'll take it. Oh my gosh, we're fighting a big, huge elephant. What's its name, Ellie? 
Get off me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fry you. My name's, uh, Fry Guy Kirby. Or Spark Kirby. Hey! Delivered an apple! It's not a Max Tomato! Oh, come on, Kirby. You can, uh, prevent yourself from getting hit by the walls or whatever. Why are you, uh, getting hurt by this guy quite often? There, take that! Okay. Let's go in here. And... Defeat these Waddle Dees. And as you can tell, the Waddle Dees have different color palettes when you go through many of these, uh... You know, many of these levels and whatever. But most of the time, they are still stuck with the traditional color palette of what they're supposed to be. So, yeah. And uh, it happened in the uh, previous version, or in the original version of uh, Kirby's Adventure that was on the NES, where the Waddle Dees went through different color palettes as well as some of the enemies within this game. But not all the enemies have different color palettes. But, you know, I rest my case. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, do we want to throw Spark Kirby away? Yes, we might as well, and we'll take Sword Kirby. I know, Sword Kirby for the win. I know a lot, uh, I, and we even talked about Sword Kirby for, I mean, we even talked about Kirby for Retro Gems in uh, the 40S uh, podcast yesterday, so that was actually uh, quite a lot of fun. Ah! I'm trying to, uh, destroy that. I wonder how we're going to be able to get that. Eight. Oh, balls! Okay, now let's just stop right here, or you know, let's just get up here and then take the enemy's power up right there. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get that power up, or uh, you know, get to that door or whatever. There's gotta be a way. There might be, but uh, we'll just have to see. Can we do this? Uh, I don't think that's gonna help, but, uh... Uh... I'm kind of curious. Yeah, I wonder how we're gonna be able to get over there. Yep. I don't think it's gonna work, so, uh, let's just, uh, leave it at that. I know we can get over there somehow, but, uh... I think we need a different power-up to help us with that. Something like the fire power-up, or... You know, something that will help us penetrate through walls. Like, uh, Explosion Kirby, I would take it. Oh well. Let's just, uh, focus on going forward here. And we got some more of Meta Knight's army to fight against. So let's take care of them, shall we? Oh, and there's even one that wields a spear. Very creative. Ah! Bollocks to you! Get over here! Thank you. Okay, let's take care of that one, and... I think there's only two more. Yes, there is. Get over here. Very nice. Alright. So, Meta Knight's army has been defeated once more. I hope that's the last of them. Probably not, but... We'll have to see. And then we're at the uh, final leg of this level, and... Nope, not yet. Or is it that one? I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll just bypass you and uh, we'll go through this area here and watch out for the spikes. Oh, cool. We could actually take some more of that. Okay, there's the final leg. Ouch. But anyway, let's complete this level or complete this uh, stage and then we'll move on further. 5,000 more points. Okay, let's go to stage six of Grape Garden. Yep. So we haven't figured out a way how to penetrate through that wall. I know there's a couple switches we missed, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to be trying to get all the switches. I was just showing you what they are like. You know, what it's like to, uh, you know, grab a switch. Or, and what it does with, uh, you know, the uh, levels that we go through. Or the hub world areas of the levels. Hub levels! That'd be a good... That'd be a better way to put it. Grab you and, uh, take your power up again. And, uh, I think I may want to replenish my health real quick. Watch out for, uh, Mr. Froggy there. Okay. Now we can, uh... Glad uh gladly go up into the, uh... Sec this section right here. And we have to fight 
a different skin of the clock boss again. I wonder if it's any different than the uh, clock boss, the you know the clock sub bosses we've been fighting against. Probably not, but it's there. Okay. And there's a ghost right there. And there's a waddle do and another uh, knight, or it's another swordsman. I don't know if the I don't know if the ghosts give you anything. They might, but I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I just usually stick for whatever power-ups I find the best, and Sword Kirby is one of the best, I tell you. Actually, let's, uh... Uh... Accidentally suck up our uh, sword power-up again and not get that extra life. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay, let's just make the big jump here, and we're back to number two once again. Alright, with uh, stage six completed, we can now go into... Grape Garden. Bo go to the Grape Garden boss. Now, we are fighting against Cracko. You know, the same enemy from uh, from Kirby's Dream Land. But there is a different twist to him, and you shall see why. Now, we need to go up this... Uh, we need to jump up in this level by continuously using the high jump ability to get away from Cracko and get up to the top where we can actually fight off against him. Just watch out for Cracko as, as he will constantly keep following you and uh, try to hurt you but for the most part he is pretty avoidable and we can get all the way up to the top without any problems whatsoever but yeah just uh, continuously just make high jumps all the way to the top here and then we can focus on Krako right here now you can use the high jump ability when you're fighting against this boss believe it or not but uh, just be careful when you're fighting against him so he doesn't get in your way whatsoever and, yeah, like I said, for the most part, he's, uh, pretty much cake. Uh, dang it. Dang you! Get down here, so I can kick your butt. And, uh, he's actually a bit more, uh, you know, wider in range in terms of his, uh, appearance than the previous Kirby. Or, in, uh, Kirby's Adventure. Alright, so we are done with Grape Garden, and the next level we're going to is Yogurt Yard. But we won't do that until next week, so... Anyway, gamers, um... We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna close things off right here. So, next week, when we get back to the live commentary, we will go to Yogurt Yard in Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. Anyway, gamers, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description. And if you like what you saw, then be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Anyway, take care of yourselves, gamers, and I shall see you next week. This is Double RPG signing off. Later, gamers! And look at me all buff with the cape. I look like a superhero. Yes, yes, yes.